Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ness and welcome to episode 15 already of my road to Messi. In this episode, we are going to trade with some adverse servers because I haven't done that in a long time. So uh, yeah, in the background you can see that I picked up a Yaya and uh, as you can see also a Marcus Ashen for 107,000 coins. And I was pretty lucky because uh, yeah, I just found him when I was searching for him. He was up for like 20 minutes already so I was pretty surprised that uh, no one bought him anyways uh i can sell him off for 150k 160k and the cheapest at the mark on the market at that moment was 160 so i thought okay let's take 11k under it so i put mine up for 149 and you will see in uh, a couple minutes that he will sell also for 149 anyways um i made some uh, adjustments to my uh brasilver method because i did some uh brasilver trading uh before this but I discovered that trading with the more expensive uh, Brazilian silver players is more effective than the cheaper ones because the profits are bigger and that's what everyone wants, right? So basically, um, yeah, you know what, I will not go into uh, some details, I will show it to you in a minute when I show you the method. But uh, yeah, I picked up some Bruno Cortes's Cortes's Bruno Cortes, Bruno Cortes. Anyways, I picked up uh, the left back from Sao Paulo a couple times and some Yayas, even a Ney. And also by accident, I found these two uh, Mycons from Sao Paulo, the right mid. I was pretty lucky because um, Ultimate DB says that, that they were going for like 25k. So I found one for uh, on an open bid for 20k open bid and I just bid it um, 20k but I got outbid. So I, it went up to like... Um, 22k or something and the other one um, was also around the 20k mark and um, Yeah, you will see in a minute that one sold for almost 35 and the other one didn't he was Going for just under 30k, but you will see that in a minute anyways And I bid it on a lot of other players, but I got outbid a lot. So yeah uh, Unfortunately, those weren't in my trade pile because I didn't win them But yeah, I think it's a still nice still a nice profit because as you can see now we uh, end up with 957,000 coins, so that means we made a almost a 70k profit overall, and it's very nice for just one one little one and a half hour of trading. Don't you think so, guys? So yeah, uh, now let's move on to uh, the trading method. So hey there, guys! I'm back again, and back to show you the trading method. As you know, we traded with the uh, uh, Brazilers, and but I did some. Uh, Filtering uh, first with the Brazilers. I basically just uh, used the Brazilers who were above 4,000 coins in the Liga do Brazil only because you know you have to limit yourself. You can't like go and find all the players. So I came up with a list. The list is uh, Bruno Cortes, Rich Charlison, Yaya Ney, Ramon Leandro, Mark Sassensau, Junior Cesar, Adrian Neto Barola, Maicon in for one, the guy that I bought twice. Uh, <clears throat> Marcio Azevedo, Maicon Leiter, Dan Linio, Wallison, and Marcus Ashinsau in Form 1. Uh, the list will be in the description, but uh, yeah, it's just um, to. Well, yeah, just to tell you guys what I traded with. Anyways, uh, I will show you an example now what I do, what I did. Um, let me take one of the players in the list. I'll take Adrian, the guy from Flamengo, the center attacking mid. Uh, so what I do is midfielder, <coughs> silver, Brazil, and we go to the to the Liga do Brazil, uh, Flamengo, and we search his cheapest by now. So let's do that now. I think it's around 18k. That's, yeah, I think it's around 18. Why do I stop at 10? Anyways, <laughs> let's move to 18, uh, 18k. Midfielder. Um. Whoa, who are these guys? Seventeen, seven fifty. Sixteen, two fifty. Eighteen. And I think that's about it. Yeah, it's a bit late now, so there are not like loads of players on the market. But uh, then we remove the buy now, and this is actually basically the same as the, as the expensive silvers. Uh, the expensive silver method that I showed you uh, a little while ago with uh, the lightners and um, and some other expensive silver players, I don't remember who it were. Anyways, uh, what, what we do after that is we put in the maximum price of let's say 15k. <clears throat> uh, 
and then we just bid on the Adrian's it's a bit late so I hope I can find one if not then I will search for another player yeah here you mad bro FC 4 and 2 and 2 as well I bid um well I'll bid 16 on this one because he's in a 4 1 2 1 2 16k here's another one 10k another one in a 4 1 2 1 2 with 16k on this one as well and is there another one nah I, I always try to stay under the one hour mark so I go back and I uh, will try to take another player uh, let's take Leandro from uh, Grêmio he's an attacker well he's a center forward but I will put in a forward Liga do Brazil uh, Grêmio <coughs> where's the G here it is we, we, we move this price this maximum price of 15 because he's cheaper than Adrian I think he's around 8k that's what I remember of well yesterday when I traded um, 7.7. 7. Let me think. Let me see. Whoa, he drops in price. 6k, 6.4. Holy shit, he was like 7.7 7 to 8k yesterday. Okay, 6.4k. Let me see if we find a lot. 6.4, 6k, um, 6.2. 5.2, whoa, 5.2, that's a bargain, probably. 5.9. Okay, he dropped. Wonder why. Whoa. Oh, oh no, no, this is 5.4. I thought it was 1.5. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay, then uh, we go back, we remove his maximum by now. Well, his minimum by now. <coughs> it's around between 5 and 6k, so what we do... We put in a maximum price of let's say um, 4k so we make 1k profit on each of these one if we can find any I hope we will yeah here's one uh, I will bid like two and a half, well 3k on this one so if I get out bid I will have some space to bid again oh this one is a striker so I will like bid uh, let's say I will bid like 8k I know I can sell him on for like 14k or something um, can we find another one no we passed the one hour mark anyways guys this is how the mech mech it how the method works basically you have the list you go through through uh, all of those players and trust me you will find some deals just be patient and uh, you will find some deals anyways guys this is how the episode will end we made an 70k overall profit with just I think it was one and a half hour trading so that's pretty nice 